differentiation. Examples. We'll have a look at some more examples. We're going to have more interesting powers in these examples. If y equals x to the minus 2, bring the power down to the front, knock one off the power, dy by dx equals minus 2, x to the minus 3. Some more that we're going to have to convert using our indices rules. If y equals 1 over x, that's the same as writing as y equals x to the minus 1. Bring the power down to the front, knock one off the power, dy by dx equals minus x to the minus 2 y equals square root of x, we could rewrite that as y equals x to the power half. Bring the power down to the front, knock one off the power, gives us half x to the minus half. These last two, because it gave it to us in the normal form, we could convert them back. Minus x to the minus 2 is the same as minus 1 over x squared. And half x to the minus half is the same as 1 over 2 root of x. Some more examples here, again we're finding dy by dx. If y equals 3x to the 4 plus 5x squared. The plus in the middle doesn't cause any problems, we just do it term by term. So differentiate the first one, 12x cubed, differentiate the second one, 10x. Another one of these, y equals 2x cubed plus 7x. Differentiate the first one, 6x squared. Differentiate the 7x is going to give us 7 because bring the 1 down to the front, knock 1 off the power, x to the 0 is just 1. Or you could think about it as the gradient of 7x, which is just 7. For something like y equals x squared times x cubed plus 4, we can't just do bits by bit, we have to expand out the bracket first. Now we can just do it bit by bit dy by dx equals 5x to the 4 plus 8x. For something like y equals x plus 2 squared, again, we're going to have to multiply out the bracket before we can differentiate it. x plus 2 squared is just x squared plus 4x plus 4. You could write it as the two brackets times together if it's easier. dy by dx is 2x plus 4. For something like an algebraic fraction, y equals x to the 5 plus 3 all over x. You can simplify it because you've only got a single bit on the denominator. It's just x to the 5 over x, which is x to the 4, and 3 over x, which we'd write as 3x to the minus 1. Or you could rewrite the over x as x to the minus 1 and multiply it out if that's easier for you. dy by dx equals 4x cubed minus 3 x to the minus 2, bringing the power down to the front, not the 1 off the power. Again, because it gave it to us in that form, I'm going to rewrite it like that. That's the same as 4x cubed minus 3 over x squared. Thank you.